Okay, let's catch up with the Daily Telegraph's Tim Blair joining us live from Victoria's Wimmera. Good to talk to you, Tim. Um, I loved your comment, uh, your column focusing on these idiot climate protesters who go around to some of the greatest works of art in the world and throw soup and paint and whatever at, at them. Here's the latest, uh, latest example that you highlighted. I mean, the brainlessness of it, the vandalism. But, Tim, you, you found that in the UK, there's mm. actually doing the right thing uh, that we could emulate here. Absolutely. In Australia, Chris, as, as you know, as, as Sky's viewers will know, whenever there's blockades or any kind of uh, climate activity that blocks the roads or blocks the streets, uh, it hinders people going about their lawful business and there's arrests, well, very little follows those arrests. People get, you know, tiny fines, perhaps. Uh, convictions aren't recorded, which means that they can still travel. They're not they're not on any kind of watch list as uh, as criminals. And basically nothing happens. And, and, and it's it's presented almost as though, as though, what, we, what, what, what can we possibly do? You know, our hands are tied. Well, not quite as tied as that fellow's hands were. But <laughs> in England, they've gone past this, a very... A uh, purposeful and sensible judge, uh, going by the name of Christopher Hare, God bless him, he's sending them to jail for significant periods of time, uh, two years, three years. In, in one case, the leader of a group called Extinction Rebellion, he copped a five-year stretch, which is terrific. And um, you've got to do this sort of thing if you want to stop it. As we've seen in Australia, if you don't stop it, they keep doing it. Yeah, well, the Poms used to send their convicts to Australia. Now they need to send their <laughs> judges out here. We need yes, a judge like Judge Christopher Hare start locking these people up. It's the only way to stop them doing it. I want to show you a clip I showed at the top of the program. I can't believe some of the ABC's coverage of uh, Israeli, Palestinian, Lebanon, uh, Hezbollah issues. Have a look at this. As a listed terrorist organisation, that's not supposed to have happened. And it might not have happened had it not been for the latest onslaught of bombing by Israel in Lebanon as it took out Hezbollah's leadership. It's just extraordinary, Tim. If only Israel would stop defending itself against Islamist terrorists, then we wouldn't see terrorist flags waved in Australia. It would be uh, a wonderful thing if we could somehow... Uh, place the current ABC back where the previous ABC was during the late 1930s and early 19, and to the mid 1940s to see how they would have applied the values of today to the conflict called World War Two. You know, if they were talking about, well, you know, sure, there's been the Blitz, but does Britain really have to retaliate so badly? I mean, Dresden is a national treasure, and the, really, you know, pushing your luck, England. Like, this is the sort of attitude they're doing. They're literally taking the worst people's side here. They're taking the evildoer sides and complaining about retaliation to protect a nation. It's just extraordinary. It's sickening, in fact. They're all happening on our coin. Just briefly, you keep a close eye on electric vehicle matters. Uh, we've had a few fires starting lately again. They are dangerous parked in your garage. Ooh, this one's a ripper, isn't it? This is a, a car that was... Um, that's water beneath a Tesla. Uh, salt water from floods, apparently. And, um, yeah, uh, what happens when... Um, when batteries in electric cars get what they call corrupted or uh, compromised, when there are cracks in the in the sealed battery containers and they get exposed to salt water. Well, this is a reaction and it's... Uh, yeah, quite a few houses have gone lately in um, in the flooded areas of the United States and, um, yeah... It's, it's a worry. It's the sort of, sort of thing that doesn't happen, yeah, in Australia. Yeah, yeah we, we ought to keep looking out for it. Uh, thanks for joining us, Tim. Appreciate it.